Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to um, taking a look a little deeper dive into those form responses. So um, we're going to take a look at maybe um, some extra options that we have inside um, the Google form response area, uh, including choose a destination, deleting responses, and what the purpose of unlinking a form is. And so these are some really great tools um, if we know they're there and how to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and head back over to our sample survey. And in our basics uh, forms tutorials, we talked about how to view all these responses, so on and so forth. And we know that clicking this Google Sheet by default will get us to the same survey with a sheet of responses. And those are always sort of stacked in our drive with the form and the survey responses. But let's assume that you want to give this survey again to a different group of people or the following semester or the subsequent year or whatever it is. And you don't want to give the whole survey again. So for example, you might want to go here and say, make a copy. And we know what that does is makes an exact copy and it'll say copy of sample survey and then all the responses will also be copy of sample survey responses, of course, unless you rename that. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. Again, it just depends on what the purpose um, and your particular, um, how you want to see those results. So what that would do would, again, give me another survey and another set of responses. So I would have another set every time I hit file, make a copy. Another way we can manipulate our responses to kind of work together and maybe a more efficient and manage our drive a little bit better and our content would be instead of coming over here and saying make a copy and getting those additional files loaded in there. What we can do is if I want to give this survey again to particular respondents, <clears throat> I might want to take these new responses that came in. And instead of adding them to my existing spreadsheet, um, as far as um, let's say rows one through four are already filled up and these would come in as rows five through eight, something like that. I don't want them to be even on the same sheet. So what I'm going to do, and we know again by default, this is going to take me back to that initial spreadsheet. What I'm going to do is say unlink form. And you'll get a little kind of window just to make sure and just know that if you do unlink, you can always relink again to the same area. So I'm going to go ahead and say unlink. So now it's detached from where those responses showed up. Okay. And right now those responses, let's just take a look. Those responses look like this. And you can see that when this comes up, this is all a bunch of test data. So we don't need to pay attention to the content here as much as looking over into these tabs down at the bottom and noticing that this survey information, notice I have different tabs with the data in there. And so I'm running the same survey and I'm populating that data into the same sheet, just different tabs. And what's nice about that, if it's the same um, content uh, for a different group or a different semester, whatever the idea is, at least it's all together on one file and you can simply get to it by clicking on the tabs instead of having multiple sheets within your Google Drive. So remember, I unlinked. So I am unlinked to this most recent one here that I did and I just have this pre-populated for this demo. And what I'm going to go back here and do is say select response destination. Instead of just clicking on that green sheet, my response destination, do I want it to be a new sheet? If that's the case, it'll create a separate. And again, it's just your personal preference. If you want to be reusing the same form, but have multiple sheets, that would be your option. What I'm going to do is say select an existing spreadsheet. I want to use the one that I've already put responses into. And when I say select, it'll let me determine, okay, where is your response sheet? And I'm going to go here and I'm going to go ahead and say select. And so it's selected back to this same one. So now I'm going to go ahead and reopen that. Now, when I click on that sheet, since it's linked, I'm going to click on it because I told it what I want to link to. 
it's going to come up with, I'll get these video tools out of your way. <clears throat> we'll let it load for a second. It's coming up with a new tab. It'll always say form responses. So we know we can go in there. We can right click, rename, and let's just say we're going to continue this pattern here. And this would have been my data. Obviously, we're forward thinking here in fall of 2020. The next time I gave the same survey so I can see all of my data from 2018 all the way through 2020 by simply using the unlink responses and letting it go. If I do not unlink and I continue to use this green button, which again is your own personal preference, that means all of the data will continue to be added in here. It'll still be date and timestamp, so you could sort by that. If you're giving it a quantifier like period one, two, three, four, you could sort through that or group number A, B, C, D or a particular category. But if I continue to use this same form over and over again, it would just keep adding data. So this is a way to get the data separated by the different times when you actually gave that survey. And it also allows you not to have multiple copies of this form over and over again in your drive. So again, if you look back in my drive, I have one survey that I've given five times now and one sheet and everything is linked to those five tabs on my sheet. And I can re-give that sample survey as many times as I want. Again, it's personal preference. So, and that's why this is an advanced uh, video on forms. Uh, so again, the three things that we went over is option one would be to make a copy and reuse the survey. Just give it the name that makes sense for you and you'll be getting an additional form as well as a response file because that will be a whole new survey. Um, same content, you just want to give the same one again. Or I do want to reuse this survey. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and clear the responses to get ready for the next group. So let's say this was last year and I'm getting ready to give this survey again. I'll go ahead and delete those responses because I'm going to go ahead and put this in my Google Classroom for this year's class and wait for those responses to come in. And when I'm ready, I'm going to come over here and unlink and link to the existing file. That's option two. Option three would be to unlink. We'll do it again and link to a new file. So option two would be a whole new spreadsheet. And option three would be continue populating the one sheet I have. Let's just put it on different tabs. So it's a really great way to keep all of your content in one place and reduce the amount of files that you're gonna have in the end from doing all the forms, survey data, um, even let's say it's a parent survey, whatever you're compiling, um, field trip data, stuff like that, you can keep it all in the same form and not um, kind of bog up your, your drive and it's easier to find and manage that way. So hopefully that helps and you can try it out with your um, next form.